So I just got these boxes in from China and you can probably tell from the labels that there's something iPhone related inside. Well, I mean, these numbers indicate that. 16 Pro Max, 16 Plus, these are obviously not the official iPhone 16 products. Those don't exist yet. However, inside is the closest look, I guess you can get at the moment, of what those phones are going to look like because these things always come out of China prior to the actual iPhone launch. So let's start by unboxing the one that's labeled 16. And the shocking thing that you're gonna notice immediately is the new layout of the camera section and you're gonna decide right now whether you love or hate this decision by Apple to change this area because obviously in the past it looked quite a bit different. So here is the iPhone 15 compared to the iPhone 16. And I don't know, this was kind of intriguing, the diagonal layout. It was distinctive, you knew it was an iPhone. Whereas this layout is a little bit more typical, obviously. Some other interesting findings here. We have this, is this gonna be a secondary button? It's not gonna be removable storage, obviously. Anyway, a dedicated button for Apple intelligence? Yeah, sure, maybe. Obviously we have this little button here where you used to have the switch, but then that changed on the Pro models. We have our volume buttons, individual and then the SIM slot on the other side. Down here, of course, we're gonna have type C speaker. And then I gotta pull this sticker off here. Oh, it's one of these annoying ones. Oh, actually very faint Apple logo being hidden by the sticker for shipping purposes, I'm sure. Now the colors, what can we learn from it? Honestly, we never really know. Sometimes these early samples will have colors that don't end up coming to fruition, but this is like a pale pink type of color. The frame, however, looks like a typical aluminum color. It doesn't have a very strong pink tone on this particular model. Otherwise, the dimensions here look fairly identical, height and width. If I look at them from the front, almost no changes to the form factor by the looks of it, and the biggest change occurring in this camera department, and then obviously with your colors. Hopefully we have some different colors here with the other models so we can compare. This is labeled as 16 plus. This gives us a glimpse at the black screen protector. It's kind of funny having a screen protector on a mock-up model phone. So same camera section, a brushed or matte finish on the frame in black. It does not feel titanium in the form of this model, but I would assume they would keep the titanium aspect for the Pro models. I don't know, these feel a little bit heavier. What does that mean on these? I don't know, but the materials on this feel more plasticky, obviously, than the actual official iPhone. But this is your Plus variant, same alteration. So I'll pull over the existing Plus. And there you can see the difference form factor looking fairly identical again, if not exact. Height, width, yeah. Sometimes these change slightly, but not this generation, it appears. These are, like I said, almost exact. Now the Plus model still has this secondary button section, which is tough to see on the black variant. So whatever that ends up being. Will says Apple intelligence, which would be very cool if that was the case. But maybe even if it was just a programmable button, that would be Does cool. Feel comfortable holding that and pressing that button? Yeah, that's that area. Yeah, you can press it. You have to shift your hand down to here, hold it there. Your left hand, on the other hand, is lining right up with that. Now, if you go to the smaller phone, same idea. You hold here, you can press this. You slide up a little bit, you press here, slide down a little bit, it's this motion. You gotta do this motion in your hand. And next, we have a Pro model, also in black, and we have a, obviously a much bigger camera section, but the same layout that we're used to on the existing Pro. Now, the materials feel identical between these two. I don't imagine that these are indicative of the actual materials that Apple will be using in any way. Sometimes the colors, as I mentioned, are, and if that's the case, then this 
black variant is quite black, maybe more black than recent kind of almost black colors that Apple has used. And if I pull over the existing Pro, I have a device that is actually a little bit taller. That's interesting. So not identical in this case. This is a little touch taller. How much taller? Let's find out. So old model, calipers have the old one at 146.8 millimeters or 5.77 inches. The new one, 5.89 inches or 149.7 millimeters. So yes, this form factor has changed slightly. Let's check width, 7144, 2.81. Oh, that's a lot closer to identical, 2.8 or 7113. That's That could just be material differences. That's not a significant alteration compared to that height. That height has definitely changed if these early mock-ups are accurate, then the next iPhone, the iPhone 16 Pro will be taller than the iPhone 15 Pro. Let's check out the Pro Max. Here it looks like we have a 16 Pro Max in white and silver, same button layout, huge phone, obviously even bigger than the Plus. The other interesting thing here, we have the same matte finish on Pro and non-Pro models. And if we compare this to the existing Pro Max, we have the same situation of a taller phone by an almost identical margin to the Pro model. And the width, once again, looks to be close to identical with a little bit of tolerance for the material differences from the actual iPhone to this model, so I don't think that's significant, but height is significant and it should allow the display inside to grow ever so slightly with that small increase. So if you are thinking about picking up a new iPhone, iPhone 16, then we will absolutely have you covered with later case products. These of course are extremely thin phone cases that are made of DuPont Kevlar and they're pretty much as thin as you can get. That material is chosen for the fact that you can make it this thin but still have it strong enough to be rigid. And the beauty here is that you get to use your phone closer to the way that it was intended to be used by the manufacturer because you've got such a thin form factor. It really feels like you're holding your phone with no case at all. This is a later case in red. We've also got the classic color, Willy Blue, a coffee color, which is my personal favorite. And then there's Midnight, which is kind of like a double black, very, very black. It would go actually quite well with the black color of the new iPhone 16, assuming that they match this or come close to this particular model. And don't forget, we've also got our Maglock rings to match any color of phone that you choose. This is actually going to enhance the magnetic grip of your device. And this actually goes on the outside of your later case in order to get the maximum magnetic lock. So the other thing you always need to be thinking about if you're looking at a new iPhone is how you're gonna charge it. And of course, our friends and sponsors at Anchor have you covered in a number of different ways, including 15 watt max wireless charging station for all of your Apple devices. You get everything going at once. You get the AirPods, you get the Apple Watch, and of course, the iPhone. And the nice thing here, this has an almost artistic quality to it where it kind of looks nice just standing there on its own, even when you don't have any products on it. Kind of a nice setup there. Now you also are gonna get some sticky pads for the Apple Watch if you wanna increase grip on the magnetic charger there, but it has a little angle to it so it doesn't really fall off. And they do include a power brick since your new iPhone will not come with one. So MagGo is fully compatible with Apple's original MagSafe and charges wirelessly at 15 watts, just as fast as the original MagSafe charger. And a couple of options for you if you're looking for a power bank, we have the Anchor Power Bank 30 watt fusion with a built-in USB-C cable. And then we've got a bigger one. This one is 10K, 30 watt capable. Look at this, it kind of almost matches some of the existing iPhone colors. Look at that. We got our cable that stays with us all the time, but it also sort of becomes like a way to hang the device or to hold it, flip down prong so it's comfortable in your pocket. And this isn't just a charger, it's a 30 watt charger, but it's a built-in battery as well. So it works as your 
power backup. And you can go ahead and charge two devices at a time using a USB-C cable. Now this one is still going to give you a secondary USB-C port so you can charge two devices, flip down prongs, comfortable to hold and carry with you and just keep with you. Oh, that's an iPhone, gotta be shattered. That just hit, this just hit the ground. I'm not even trying to promote the fact that these later cases are the ultimate drop protection because that's not the intention. They're meant to be as thin as possible, but many people tell me they actually protect, like many people are surprised when they drop them sometimes and they look at their phone fully expecting it to be shattered and then it isn't. I just had that experience. This went like from table height, it went like this onto the concrete floor, but the small lip especially around the corners, which you don't really feel, it just comes up enough that that drop hits case instead of screen, and oftentimes it's enough resistance. I'm not telling you to go drop this thing, and I'm not telling you that it's an otter box, because it's not, and that's not the intention. It's a totally different thing, but sometimes it saves your phone as well every so often. All right, so you guys go ahead and let me know what do you think about this new look for the standard iPhone and the Plus model? Like, is it looking better to you on the 16 or did you prefer it on the 15? Also, let me know which one you're most likely to buy. Are you more inclined towards the 16, 16 Plus or 16 Pro or Pro Max? Let me know in the comments.